Hello folks, my name is the Kiwi Dragon, and today I am finally here making a video talking about the recent Crash Bandicoot news. I've been kind of busy these past few days, so this is the first time I've been able to sit down and actually get my thoughts out there, even though you know I'm kind of fashionably late for this, which, let's be honest, is kind of on brand for me at this point, so yeah, but let's dive in. So as you'll probably be aware by now, people have been receiving some Crash Bandicoot merch packages from Activision. And guess who didn't get one of these merch drops? This guy! Uh, yeah, well at least not yet anyway. But, um, <clears throat> hey, if uh, the powers that be, uh, you know, watching this, uh, hit me up, you know? <laughs> uh, but no, in all seriousness, in case you were watching this and you didn't know anything about the merch drop, let me quickly enlighten you what it is. Basically, the packages that the creators received was in the shape of a pizza box with the branding of Aku Aku's Steamin' Pizza Shack, which, of course, is a play on words, and we'll get to why that is in just a moment. On the inside of the pizza box, it contained four more smaller boxes, which, when assembled, kind of resembles a square pizza, each box containing some really cool goodies on the inside as well. The items included a t-shirt, a hat, a Bluetooth speaker, a charge cable with multiple ends for devices that use Apple's lightning charger, as well as devices that use micro USB and USB-C chargers. And those who received these packages also got a cool Crash Bandicoot 4 themed mouse pad, which again ties into the core theme of this merch drop. So what was it all for? Well it was to announce that Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time is headed to PC! Again. You may already know that it's been on PC before via Activision's own games launcher, Battle.net, but this time the game is coming to Steam, hence the name of Aku Aku's Steamin' Pizza, and also the inclusion of the mousepad in the merch drop. The game is set to release on Steam on October 18th, so four days from the time of me recording this video right now. Personally, I'm really happy to see it coming to Steam, especially as the Insane Trilogy is already on Steam, as well as the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. I don't own either Insane or Reignited on Steam, but I have them in my wishlist and keep meaning to purchase them, and one of my big hesitations to do that was actually because Crash 4 was only on Battle.net, and I actually have no interest in downloading Battle.net. Uh, especially as I already have Steam and Epic launchers on my computer, and I barely use the Epic one as it is, so imagine how much less I would use the Battle.net launcher outside of Crash 4. So to me, having Crash 4 on Steam, as well as the Insane Trilogy and Spyro Reignited Trilogy, is a big win. And after I've finished recording this particular video, I'm gonna head off and put Crash 4 on my Steam wishlist. Ah, <sighs> if only Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel was on PC. A kind of unlikely scenario at this point, but hey, I'd still welcome it. Anyway, there is one more thing to address before I end this video, and that is the sticker on the pizza box, which kind of resembles a weird looking receipt, which not only confirms that Crash Bandicoot 4 is coming to Steam, but also says, and I quote, in my best advertising voiceover, Hungry for more? Try our new Wumpa Pizza for only $12.08. So, first of all, I can't lie, Wumpa Pizza just does not sound all that tasty, to be honest. I can't really imagine a fruit which resembles a cross of apples and mangoes tasting any good on pizza. But then again, this is coming from a guy who doesn't like pineapple on pizza, so do with that information what you will. But most importantly is the price of the pizza itself, $12.08. Now it might not mean anything at first glance, but if you imagine it in the American date format as 1208, which would be the 8th of December, does that date look familiar to you guys? If you guessed it was the date of the Game Awards, then you'd be bang on correct. So it looks as though Crash Bandicoot will be appearing in some form during the Game Awards, and possibly coming back to hang out with his best friend, the Dorito Pope himself, Jeff Keighley, and to possibly reveal another Crash game. Maybe, hopefully, we don't know. The big theory at the moment is that the game, which was codenamed Project Lava and referred to by fans as Wumpa League, will finally be revealed on December 8th. I'd personally be really happy if that's the case, especially as we've heard the words Wumpa League 
a lot in the last few years, so hopefully this reaches some kind of interesting or exciting climax at the Game Awards, but we'll have to wait and see if that happens. I'm looking forward to seeing any news that just comes out of the Game Awards about Crash, but sadly, of course, I won't be able to livestream my reactions to any reveals, as I will be out of town to go to a Guns N' Roses concert on that day. So, I'll have to work out how I'm going to react to any potential news, so... Uh, part of me is sitting here like, please don't do any big reveals, but at the same time I'm like, no, please big reveals, because we really, really need them. We've had a um, content drought in the Crash community for a bit of a while. But what do you guys think? Are you happy to see Crash 4 coming to Steam, or are you kind of indifferent to that news? And do you think there will be a big reveal on the day of the Game Awards? And if so, what do you think it will be? Drop me a comment down below with your thoughts and theories, and I will do my best to read all of them, and possibly even respond to some of them as well. But that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have yourselves a great rest of your day. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!